Here are the five most impactful ways to use AI in your print on demand business to grow sales, save you time and improve the customer experience. All right, let's dive in and I'm gonna take you through this in a step-by-step -step guide so that you know the first thing I'm gonna talk about is probably the first thing that you should do in your business and then going forward from there. So number one is idea generation. AI is an amazing way to get ideas for all kinds of different things in your business. The first way that you might use AI to get ideas is for what kind of business to start. So we know we're gonna go into print on demand, but we, we might wanna know what niches are best, what you know ideas for niches we could go into. We might wanna ask it ideas for names uh, or ideas for logos. There are many different things you could do in the idea space, but let's start by looking at ChatGPT and getting some ideas for a new business. So we've got ChatGPT up, and if we were starting completely from scratch, we might ask it something like, I'm thinking of starting a print-on-demand business. What are the best niches to consider? And let's see what it does. So ChatGPT gave us a bunch of different options here. Number one, personalized products. Number two, pet lovers. Number three, fitness and health hobbies and interests, and so on and so forth. So I think we wanna get a little more specific, so we might ask it a few more questions. Okay, ChatGPT says outdoor activities, niche sports, crafting communities, and so on and so forth. It gave us a pretty exhaustive list here, and these are definitely more specific than we got in the beginning. Now, I do wanna mention that Google Bard is another option very similar to ChatGPT. This is really Google's answer. And I have found in using Google Bard that I like a lot of the answers a lot better. One of the reasons for that is because Google Bard actually has more up-to-date information. It's trained on more current information. So when I, I went ahead and asked it here just to see what it would say, is I ask it how up-to-date is your information? And then I ask it, are you trained on current information from 2024? And it did say yes. Now it said that that information goes through a ton of filters and different things before it gets to Google Bard. So it may not be completely current, but you will likely be able to get, you know, pretty recent information in Google Bard as opposed to uh, uh, ChatGPT. And when I ask it the exact same question here, I'm thinking of starting a print on demand business. What are the best niches to consider? I think it actually gave me better information because it broke this down into high potential niches, said animals and pets, activism and social causes, humor and inter internet memes, job related niches. It said niche down for success, gave me some more tips. Uh, which is really, really useful. Now I could keep asking it and it would continue to give me more information just like ChatGPT, but I found the information in Google Bard for this specific question to be a little more useful and helpful. Now, does that mean it's gonna be the best every time? Definitely not, but my point here is to show you how ChatGPT and Google Bard and many other tools, they can be so great for idea generation, not just with business ideas, but with so many different things when it comes to your print on demand business. The number two way to use AI in your print on demand business is of course, AI art generation. Now, when you have a print on demand business, one of the biggest things is coming up with designs for your print on demand products. And AI has taken so much time and effort out of doing that and made it so much easier to not only come up with high converting designs, but then be able to generate a ton of them in a very short amount of time. What used to take us days or weeks or working with a graphic designer or trying to learn Photoshop and do it ourselves, we can now do it in seconds with AI art generators. Now, I've talked about this a lot on my channel and I'll be sure to link some videos below, uh, but I just wanna briefly show you some examples of that in my two favorite AI art generators, which is number one. <coughs> Hey, by the way, I just put together a free AI prompt style guide, which gives you 171 different terms to use in your AI art prompts to get more creative and better AI art. If you wanna download it, you can get it completely free over at carryegler.com slash prompts. I'll put that link down in the description, but you can go over there, download it completely free, my gift to you. Back to the content my two favorite AI art generators, which is number one, Mid Journey, and number two, of course, Ideogram, which is really great for t-shirts and print on demand. So inside Mid Journey, we're over here in Discord, and these are just a few of the examples of some different designs I've done in here. These are specifically a game controller that we could add text to, uh, maybe in Canva or Photoshop, and then upload that to our print on demand provider. So it's able to generate really cool images like this. Here's a few other examples. If we go over here, we see some heart, 
uh, heart-shaped flowers. We see um, we see a, a, a guy in a suit swimming, you know, scuba diving. Uh, there's all kinds of different stuff here. You see tigers. So these are just a few examples of what Mid Journey can do. Most of the time with Mid Journey, you'll want to generate an image and then you might want to take it over to something like Canva, add your own text to it, and really just kind of finish out the design before taking it to your print on demand. The other option that I love is called Ideogram. And the main reason I love Ideogram is because the designs definitely come out more print ready for print on demand and Ideogram can handle text a little bit better uh, than Mid Journey can, as you can see here with the Tiger Vibes, the Make Dad's Game Again, uh, just a few examples here of, of what I've done in Ideogram. And so I really like Ideogram for that purpose, handling text, uh, more print ready designs, designs that won't need a lot of editing afterwards. Um, Ideogram can be a great tool. Now, a couple other options you can check out for AI art generation. There is Adobe's uh, new art generation tool. There's one called Leonardo. These are really, really great options. There's many others out there. And in fact, I've even talked about in a recent video about Dolly being integrated into ChatGPT so that now you can actually have a conversation with AI and have it make changes to the art right inside ChatGPT by using the Dolly app that you can just plug right into that. So it's pretty incredible what we can do with AI art generators and they're only getting better each and every day. And so I envision in the future, this is gonna be an even easier process if you can believe it, uh, once these continue to update and get better. The number three way to use AI in your print on demand business is also a really fun one and it's mockups. Now gone are the days where you need to take photos of a customer wearing your product or even use you know, tools like Place It and actually finding mockups on the internet. Now with AI, you can generate your own mockup that looks exactly like the customer that you uh, are wanting to sell to. And again, this is reducing time, reducing, saving you money and making this a much easier process. So you see over here in Mid Journey, just a couple quick examples. These are actually models that are not real people that I have generated in Mid Journey. And then what I can do is take these out again to a tool like Canva or maybe drop it in Photoshop and add my own design on the t-shirt. And this gives me a 100% unique mockup that no one else has that I can use for my brand to grow my sales, to promote on social media, maybe to run as an ad. And it just takes so much headache out of the mockup process. The number four way to use AI in your print on demand business is writing sales copy. This is something a lot of people struggle with is writing copy that actually converts. And when we use AI, we can actually, you know, tap into all of the data that it has on what actually works to have it write headlines for us and write even full ads, product descriptions, email marketing, uh, social media posts, blog posts. There's so many incredible ways to use this to write sales copy. So if we go over to ChatGPT, let's ask it to write 10 Facebook ads about a t-shirt that says Tiger Vibes Only. Okay, so we ask it to write us some ads and we just use Tiger Vibes Only because we just looked at that in our Ideogram account. And you can see here that it's going to write us Facebook ads. So it's gonna give us a few different things here. Now, this was a very simple prompt and this may not be exactly what you want. So we can get a little more detailed. We can ask it to say it in a different way. We can ask it to say it with a different tone and we'll get a better result. Okay, so it's given us 10 here and we could read through some of these. This will definitely give us some good ideas even if we don't use these exactly like they are but we can also get a little more specific. So we can say, give me five headlines for this t-shirt. Okay, and then it will pop out uh, some actual, maybe just headlines or hooks that we might wanna use. So this right here might be a little more useful, right? Unleash your wild side with our Tiger Vibes Only tees. Roar in style, get your exclusive Tiger Vibes Only. Okay, so now this is helping us maybe write a little more headline. Now what we could also say is we could tell it to change the tone, maybe say it in a different way. Can you say these in a more fun way? Okay, so we ask it that, it's gonna make it a little more fun, a little more playful, right? So it's gonna, it says specifically, it's going to add a bit more fun and excitement to these headlines. So roar louder than ever, grab your Tiger Vibes only tee and pounce into style. Okay, we're getting pretty creative and these are a lot better than what we originally got, which were 
sounded more robotic, right? So this is an example of how, you know, you shouldn't just put in a prompt when you want sales copy. You shouldn't just say, write an email for this. Maybe you could start with that, but then you want to caress it a little bit. You wanna finesse it a little bit. Add uh, some additional follow-up questions to get closer to what you are looking for. This is the best way to use AI for these kind of things because they're not initially gonna know exactly what you want and you don't usually want this robotic sales copy. So you're gonna have to work with it a little bit. One other quick thing I wanna make you aware of here is that there are other software and tools that are not ChatGPT that are specifically for writing copy with AI. One of those examples is this company called Jasper. Now, why is Jasper? Why would Jasper be useful? Well, again, Jasper is trained specifically to be uh, to write marketing copy, so it's going to do a little bit better job. It's and it's also going to help you edit it much easier. It's just going to be a full-fledged suite to write your sales copy and to use AI to get ideas and to also just write a little bit better high converting sales copy than you might get out of ChatGPT. There are many other uh, softwares that do this as well. I'm not, I'm not promoting Jasper because there are other options. This is just one example, probably the most well-known example of a software that does something like this. So whether using ChatGPT or using something like Jasper, you should definitely be starting to use these tools using AI to write sales copy for ads emails, social media posts, product descriptions, blogs, anywhere that you need these kind of, even YouTube descriptions. There's so many ways that you can use AI uh, to write copy. Number five is enhancing the customer experience and growing your sales. Okay, so this is uh, definitely probably one of the last things you wanna look at when you're really starting to integrate AI into your e-commerce business or print on demand. This might not be the thing you wanna do right away. It might not be the most obvious, but what I wanna show you is two Shopify apps that you can plug right into your store that are going to create a better experience for your customers, handle some of your customer service, and also help you increase sales. Again, I'm not promoting either one of these apps. These are just examples of one of the options that you could use. There's many other options to do these things out there in the Shopify app store. So if we go over to the app store and we look at this app called Tidio. Now, Tidio is a live chat and an AI chat bot, and it does a bunch of different things. So. One of the things it's gonna do is it's gonna provide a little chat box there that will handle, handle some of your customer service on your Shopify store. Another thing that it will do is it will recommend products inside of a chat bot that may help your customer make a purchase, helping you increase sales. Now what's cool about this is when you use an AI tool like this, an AI chat bot, it's going to be able to pull data from all of the stores that it is integrated in. It's gonna be able to use that data and interpret it to actually make better sound, sounder decisions for your store to actually increase your sales, okay? So imagine that a customer comes to your website, they're shopping around, but they can't find what they're looking for, and then they can go, they click on the little chat bot and they just ask it directly for what they're looking for, and it can send them directly to that page or provide a link or maybe even allow them to add that item to cart right from the chat bot without even going to the page, right? Those are just a few examples. A few other examples of how it might be able to help you with customer service and something specifically that Tidio does is it's able to answer questions that your customers might have about existing orders or their cart. So they might come in and might say, you know, I can't find the tracking information for my order. And the AI chatbot could ask it, well, what's your name? What's your information? And they could provide, it could provide that with, provide your customer with that information. It can check order history, can recommend products, right? It can preview their cart. I mean, all kinds of different things that it can do. You might, your customer might wanna go into the chat bot and say, what is your return policy? Instead of going to the return policy on your website, or maybe they can't find it, the chat bot can just give them the return policy right there in the chat. So this is pretty cool. Another app that you can use specifically to increase sales is called Wiser Post Purchase Upsell. So again, this kind of app can use all of the data that it is trained on both from your store and other stores and just whatever it is trained on to actually make a better decision and recommend a product as an upsell that will hopefully you know grip your customer and make them pull out their credit card right so as opposed to just recommending a random product or choosing a product 
it can make a better decision on what products to recommend as an upsell for your customer. And there are many other upsell apps in the Shopify app store that use AI to recommend products in a better way and hopefully increase conversions, make more sales, increase that AOV for you and your business. I hope you can see the incredible ways that you can use AI in your print on demand business to save tons of time, save tons of money and make you more money. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.